What's good, guys? Welcome back. We are here today, game day vlog. Wednesday night, Phillies and Nats. Liam's not here. I'm going to the game with my roommate from college. You'll meet him later. But the Metro car is pulling up right now. I gotta pull my mask up. Come along, let's get it. Let's go, guys. We just got to the yard. This is my roommate, Ben. Here's my roommate in college. What's Big good, shout out, boys. Good shout out. Big shout out to Ben and his mom for the tickets tonight. Taking me my first game since I saw the Nats win the pennant here. I'm so excited. All right, guys, we just got into the stadium. It's the bottom of the first inning. Bryce Harper struck out 10 the first, so that makes me ha happy. What doesn't make me happy is they confiscated my bag, even though it was clear. Uh, they just said it was too big and it was a DC Defenders bag. I love my XFL. So I got to carry my sweatshirt and my glove around for the rest of the night. But Soto's coming up to bat and we get to watch some baseball, so that's good. You already know we're not messing around. We got that club access tonight. All right, guys, that's our view for tonight. We just arrived. We're in club section 213, so the elite of the elite. Hopefully we catch a foul ball or something because it's definitely in play. All right, guys, so as you can see here, they have every seat that isn't available as a ticket restricted right now. They have these to tie them off so you can't even open the seats up unless you have tickets for them. There you see Trey Turner getting rung up to end the third inning. So it's one nothing Phillies. I'm about to go explore the park, look around the club section, see what we can find. It's too bad Liam wasn't here for our first in-game vlog and we got here like in the middle of the first inning, didn't get to do any of the pre-game festivities. Uh, that's stuff we really want to share with you on the channel. So hopefully we'll get at it next time, but uh, let's take a tour around the park. Hate to see that. Too many Phillies fans at this game. There you can see out there, guys, is Audi Field. It's home to the DC United soccer team and also the XFL team that played here in 2020, the DC Defenders, I was talking about them. They should be returning to play in 2022 from what I hear, but just beautiful sunset tonight in DC. You totally forgot there, it was the middle of the fourth inning. So it was the president's race, but apparently they're not doing the president's race this year. They had a little pre-recorded one up on the scoreboard, Teddy won, so that makes me happy. You guys can see one last time, Audi field out in the distance. Nationals players parking lot right below us. You've seen Liam and I film some videos there before. And then if you look to our left, absolutely gorgeous, the Anacostia River. What a beautiful ballpark we have. There you go guys, we're headed back to the seats now. Gonna settle down and watch the game a little more. Still one nothing Phillies through the first four, so uh, Nats have gotta get it going, figure out some offense. We got two runners on. We're getting a rally going. Let's get some runs on the board. End of the fifth inning there. Juan Soto, Trey Turner striking out back to back with two runners on. Pretty frustrating. Still one nothing Phillies, but yeah, 
Oh ho! Yeah, we're definitely about to blow. Look at that. That World Series champion hardware, baby. Let's go, guys. This is my homeboy, Paul. He goes to Clemson. In other news, Castro just singled. Nats tied the game. It's one to one in the sixth. One out. Avila, the hitter. Avila, where is no that? Catch. They didn't catch it. Let's go. Oh, Let's my go. God. That ball has to be caught by somebody. Bryce Harper just made a fool of himself in right field. This place is going crazy. There you saw, guys. End of the top of the seventh. Sam Clay gets Bryce Harper to ground out with two runners on and two outs. Nats hold their 2-1 lead. Headed back to the seats right now. Done linking up with Paul. Hear them playing on Take On Me. It's a great experience just to be back at the park and uh, happy to be here. <laughs> well, Ben was calling Grand Slam, but uh, Jordy Mercer struck out on three pitches. But we're three outs away from wrapping this one up. Hopefully Brad Hand can get the save. Well, uh, Odubo Herrera just hit a home run with one out in the ninth to tie the game. So we're going to need a walk off if we want to win this one. So Brad Hand managed to get out of that inning, allowing just the one run. It's 2-2 now, headed to the bottom of the ninth inning. Nats are going to try and walk it off. All right, there we go. We got rally cap action. Rally hoodie, we're ready for a walk off. <laughs> two batters into the 10th inning. Phillies already have a 3 2 lead, a base hit from Harper, a base hit by Hoskins. Two on, still nobody out, and the Phillies fans are making noise. It's getting ugly. It's 5-2 Phillies, and Ben wants to roll out early. Yeah. Ground out and a fly out to start the 10th inning for the Nats. Still down three runs and down to their final out. Oh my gosh, we just saw Screech at Nationals Park, not clickbait. There you have it guys, Nats catch a fat L to the Phillies tonight, 5-2. They had the game won, they were two outs away. Brad Hand blew the save, so that was pretty frustrating. Ruined a beautiful experience coming back to the yard for the first time in the year and a half, but still had a lot of fun. So if you enjoyed, drop a like, leave a comment, hopefully a lot more in-game vlogs coming soon. Get Liam in more of these. What else can I say, Bat Boys Takeover.